we're talking launch conditions for a distance wedge now ideally you want to produce a distance wedge that has low launch so that you have that nice environment for high spin so typically people ask well how low is low somewhere under 30 degrees is a good reference point now you might find that easier with a sand wedge or you could possibly find it easier with a lob wedge. I'm going with my Los Lofted Club, my trusty Vokey 60 degree wedge. So we're trying to provide that environment. Now I will tell you that in order to get that loft, dynamic loft down enough for that lower launch, you're gonna to have to lean the shaft. Now, unfortunately, when people think of shaft lean, a lot of times they're thinking about hitting down on the ball and we're not saying that at all. What we want is shaft lean around about a grip length, sort of 12 to 18 degrees is what we see in the elite wedge, distance wedge players, but with a very shallow angle of attack. So leaning the shaft while the club is traveling very shallow to the ground. That provides this spin loft, the right conditions for that low launch and the high spin. Now, a couple of things to accomplish that. Number one, in the backswing, if you're someone that has a lot of wrist hinge or set, you're gonna have a hard time maintaining your body angles and delivering that club without the club being quite steep into the ball. So a good visual would probably be someone a little bit more like Steve Stricker or Jason Duffner who doesn't have a lot of wrist set. That allows you then to maintain a lot of lead wrist bow or flex trail wrist extension or cup so that you can keep the shaft and the sweet spot behind your hands and deliver the club with a pretty shallow impact into the ball while delivering less loft. So if you imagine I'm facing the camera, if I don't have a lot of wrist set, I can keep that shaft leaning and now I'm delivering less loft. That's what we're trying to do in order to produce that low launch and high spin. So don't one moment think we're talking about hitting way down on it. We're talking about leaning the shaft, using our pivot and body to keep the ball down. So how do you practice it? Well, we've got a launch gate here, pretty simple. It's about four and a half feet high at about seven foot. Don't worry about the math. That's a relatively pretty good relationship to get that launch and for feedback, I've got my trusty foresight here that's gonna measure the club face angle. Now, one thing I wanna say that's pretty significant here, premium golf ball. Of course, it's a tight list, but a premium golf ball makes a massive difference. That's gonna bring the launch way down. So if you're practicing this with a range ball, it's actually good practice because it's gonna launch way higher. But if you wanna see if you can accomplish it and maximize the spin, premium golf ball. So. Ball's down. All I'm going to do here, I've got my setup. I've got my ball kind of in the middle of the stance and all I'm trying to do is bring that club back. Not much wrist set. Hands are gonna have a little bit of depth because I'm turning and I'm really trying to rotate my pivot. And you can also see that green stick. For me, it's easier to feel a little bit of a draw to accomplish this. There are some players who are fantastic at feeling a bit of a cut. I'd probably say it's a little easier to lean the shaft and feel that draw, the club coming from the inside. For me personally, choice is entirely up to you. So from here, I have got my stance. I've got my ball in the middle. I'm trying to get that shaft lean. Remember that visual, a grip length of shaft lean, that's quite a lot. That's what's gonna help us deliver that less loft. So here we go. So ball is, kind of in the middle of my stance, shafts forwards, wrists are pretty level at address, club's gonna come back, and I'm gonna pivot through. Now, I've hit that hair on the heavy side, we'll give another one, but that launched at 26.4. That ball had, how much spin? Doesn't have my spin number on here, but we'll try that. And the face the part that was a little closed, that's kind of my draw. We'll try one more, try and see if I can get a little shallower. Sharp lean, here we go. And that one's pretty good there. So you see how low those balls are coming out, that launched at 26. So that's what you're gonna see to produce that lower launch. 
And remember, the more speed you have, the more spin you can produce. So the goal is once you get comfortable with delivering less dynamic loft, then you start to improve your contact. We want to try and minimize the amount of debris between the club and the ball. That's going to increase our friction, which is also going to help us spin it more. So the goal here, remember, you're trying to get that club nice and wide, okay? Trying to make sure you don't have a lot of wrist set. If you get too much wrist set, it makes it harder to control the bottom. So wider arc, you're going to turn back, and then you're going to pivot through. The more you can pivot, that's going to help you control the bottom. If you have a bit of slide, it's going to cause you some dig. So we'll try one more. Ball's in a good position. Not much set. Going to deliver that loft. Oh, that one's fantastic. Really nice. You see that low draw. 7,800 spin. Um, so that one I delivered. Just to give you an idea there, launch angle was 23.5. So again, those balls aren't going very far, but I'm not using a lot of energy. As I add more speed, now I'm going to create more spin. But remember, if you want that low launch, high spin, you've got to work on leaning the shaft via the wrist angles, but with a nice shallow angle of attack so that you can optimize your spin loft. Give that a whirl for really nice spinning controlled flighted distance wedges.